Transport fly cargo bag requires manual offload. Okay. So I've got to go get it. Staff activity incoming Herbert Peterson Lindwall Chun of Ashkin Hill. Outgoing Peterson Lindwall of Ashkin Hill. So Chun should still be here. Activity unsigned R Herbert visit. Launching with ARC one last visit. Okay. Launch lock. Week 48. Project Tact SX Haimatsu Freighter Mission completed and uh, sensing satellite mission complete. Communication for the Sino Indian Federation. Reconnaissance satellite. Atmos Surveyor Weather Satellite on hold. After 10 years of impeccable operation, the Omega Space Gun will shut down, but it took an apocalypse to be made redundant. Vic off of there. Did you find out what happened to the ARC team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the ARC back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the Space Gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. I need some help. My poor arm. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. Health? You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Uh. Oh, that feels so much better. I can see what now. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. It helps me focus. That's... I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. <laughs> it's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. I might change my mind about the Ark. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? <laughs> Stop torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. Alright, so this looks like Chen's body. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. 
We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We made it to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine, it's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark! I'm taking it! No, you're not. I'm not gonna let you ruin this! Stop it! Guys, calm down! Get away from me! No! What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine... Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell. A bullet, ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the Ark. Right. I'll go pick it up. You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one, someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. <laughs> Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. All right, let's just plop this thing in here. Power her up. Can load.
Now what? Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then... kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean... it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Here we go. I'm anticipating something horribly wrong going on here. Just like always. I guess I gotta flood the room. get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Here we go. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know. I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh. That's weird. Most cruiser operates it. Alright. Let's pick up the load. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Oh, she's lying. She just put me in right now. And uh, the one I am is probably just gonna sit here and rot forever. What are you waiting for? All right. I'm embracing myself. <laughs> here we go. No turning back. Thanks, Don't mess it. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. She's not coming. Time. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. Thought you guys would have better bandwidth. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, mm. 
Seven. Six. Finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survives, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine, you lied! And I believed in you, I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fucking fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? Oh boy. Oh, that. Mm. I wonder if there's multiple endings of this game. Maybe one where you actually get to be on the arc. Uh, can't say I didn't see that coming, though. Oh, that was good. Whew. Give me shivers. It might just be the fact that it's really cold in my room right now. But anyway, thanks for watching if you did watch. What you did if you got this far, so thanks. <laughs> that was really good. It challenged you on a philosophical level. Hmm. There's a lot of voice actors in this one. I didn't think there was that many characters. So, thanks again, Frictional Games. That was really good. Alright, what would I do if I got lost at the bottom of the ocean? Alpha testing. <laughs> Sorry. The alpha testing. You know, it's a station. Right? Anyway. Um, so, yeah, we. Leave a comment or something of what you thought of my series of videos if you actually did watch all of these. And, uh. Please, uh, tell, tell me what you think about some of the philosophical questions that were quandered here. I wouldn't be as pissed off as uh, Simon Jarrett there at the ending. I would be very depressed, for sure, but I wouldn't be surprised. Because, you know, I actually listened to Catherine Chen. I didn't, you know, be a dick. But, hooray, Toronto! Is there anything at the end? I don't think there ever really is on the fictional games, but...
Is this? Did it work? My hands are gross and red. I can sneak. Pretty and all, but living an eternity in a forest might get boring. Nobody's gonna know who I am. Calibration survey, version 0.3. Welcome. If you're reading this, you have successfully entered the arc. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. He's doing it the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? This is the same questionnaire as before. Yeah, I feel more normal in this in the arc than I did at a robot. It's pleasant. I do feel like I lost it, so wait now. I mourn my previous existence. Can you perceive your new existence? Do you think this new existence will be a life with me? It's got less meaning, honestly. No. No problem, survey. So a few of my answers changed from the last time I took it. I do feel more realistic and normal in my current setup. I wonder if I get to meet the crew. They're all going to be like, who the hell are you? And I'll be like, I'm Simon Jarrett. Some dude from Toronto. I do like this walkthrough. It's nice. Catherine? Catherine! Wait, there's gonna be I two Catherines in the park. Made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. There's gonna be post-apocalyptic Catherine and then normal Catherine. That'll be weird. So that's what the Earth looks like, eh?
Wow, the sun seems really close. Now that I think about it. The end. Oh, hey, that's cute. Thanks for watching, everyone.